first and most importantly, it is Veruca salt, but Veruca salt is not the one who swelled up like a blueberry. That was Violet Beauregard. Veruca salt was the one who uh, my entire life mission as a parent is to make sure that my children do not end up like Veruca salt. I want it now, Daddy. I want it now. <laughs> so Veruca whatever. Violet swelled up like a nice little blueberry because, well, she ate something she wasn't supposed to eat. But if you didn't have the lymphatic system reabsorbing that three liters of fluid that you're filtering out at the capillary level every 24 hours, you also would swell up like a little blueberry. And that is um, called edema. That's what edema is. It's when fluid gathers in the interstitial spaces. And they're, oh my gosh, integration project fun times. Like probably every single person has an application to edema in their um, project. And so, like, let's talk about fluid balance and done. Your homeostasis link is made. This, um, let's look at the anatomy of the lymphatic system super fast. It's a network of vessels. There is no pump. It's similar to the cardiovascular system in that it is a network of vessels, but lacking a pump, it relies on skeletal muscle to move fluid through. It picks up all the fluid that was filtered out in the capillaries. It sends that fluid through lymph nodes. So the lymphatic system is associated with the immune system because your um, lymphocytes hang out in the lymph nodes and, like, watch, make sure that there's nothing crazy coming through. And eventually all that fluid is just dumped right back into the blood up here around. It, it's dumped into the veins. So it's, it's a really important system. If you have malfunctions, you will swell. A malfunctioning lymphatic system can lead to edema. Malfunctioning all sorts of other things can also lead to edema. Okay, dude, that's about all we're doing in lymphatic land. So now let's go back. Okay, that was all exchange. Now let's go back to some other jobs that blood has. For example, blood is responsible for clotting. Let's look at the platelets and then let's look at the clotting process.